don't give a fuck what you heard. You say to you papa, but I ain't heard him. And he beat to you, pass me, I murder him. We finesse in this bitch in his man. My bitch pull up and How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another exciting episode of Game Day Vlogs. We got a good one for you tonight. Wainimi versus Fillmore, the Citrus Coast Championship. Can't wait to bring this game to you guys. It's a very crucial game for both teams. Could Wainimi go for a third Citrus Coast? Could Fillmore end the streak? It's time to find out. But first, let's get into the informational stuff, some announcements, and then we'll get right to the game. First off, let's take a look at Wainimi. They're coming into this game three and five. If they do win this game, like we mentioned, they will become three-time Citrus Coast champions. And they might have a slight chance of making it to the playoffs. You got to win three league games. That's all that matters. Win three league games, you'll get right into the playoffs. We'll see how they do tonight. But here's some key players to look out for. The senior, Robert Barrera. Very good wide receiver. Um, averages over 50 yards per game. Makes some really big plays tonight. And in some of the previous games that we've covered him in. So be on the lookout for him. He's a great kid. And in my opinion, I feel like he is a very overlooked receiver you know he, he's a big playmaker he can make important plays if needed to and he could definitely get the winding me offense some crucial first downs so be on the lookout for him tonight and in the running game we got the junior Aiden Avita averaging over 128 rushing yards per game that's got to be insane so be on the lookout for him too really good running back and on the defensive side of the ball we got Josiah Gibson and Joseph Cross holding it down. Josiah Gibson averaging over four tackles per game. Pretty good stuff. He also puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line, disrupting some of the plays. And then we have Joseph Cross at the secondary. So far, he's got one interception this season. Hopefully, we could see more this game. Now, we move on to Fillmore. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Fillmore. They're coming into this game 6-2. and two. Pretty good record so far. Jared Uridal, I think that's how you pronounce it. If I mispronounce it, I apologize. Jared, the senior, averaging over 81 receiving yards. That's pretty good right there. Then we got the senior, Nathan Torres, on the running game, averaging over 49 yards per game. Pretty good stuff right there. So far, Fillmore's offense is looking pretty good. Now we look at the Fillmore defense. Tori Cabral, averaging 11 tackles per game that's some pretty good stuff right there so he's going to be a key player to look out for on the defense so far both teams are looking pretty good both great on the offense both great on the defense but how are they going to perform on the field let's take it to the field and find out how everything goes does Wainimi defend their Citrus Coast title or does Fillmore break the streak it's time to take you down and find out
Back to number 32. Right down the... Ah, just killed it. And the drop back, looking down the middle of the field. Kick is off. 
As you can see, Fillmore takes home the win. Uh, it was very close game in the beginning, but Fillmore just ended up being the better team. Wyneme did their best to stop Fillmore's offense, but they just powered right through. They were able to score the points that they could. And Wyneme's offense was doing good. The DBs were just very on point with Wyneme's offense. They were on their receivers pretty well. Though whenever Wyneme did get a drive going, they got it going they were driving down the field they were trotting as you saw robert barrera making important catches important conversions you know to get them close to the goal line but in the end you know it was fillmore that just had the better team you know better luck next time why Nimi heads held up high congratulations fillmore on being citrus coast champs
thank you so much for watching today's video i do have some sad news unfortunately these next two episodes of game day vlogs are unfortunately going to be my last for the season i had an agreement with my work that they were only going to allow me to let me loose uh, early or give me days off for you know a certain amount of fridays and unfortunately i'm all out of friday to use up so uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to you know focus on work for right now i will put out other content i might do some video game streaming i might bring back the cooking videos since people like them maybe i might bring back the nardcast for those of you who remember watching that and maybe some more how bad can it be content you know since i've been kind of falling behind about that you know review some movies uh maybe put on a talk show with my friends or you know i'll find something to record but unfortunately game day vlogs is going to come to a conclusion until next season and i will make a special video thanking everyone and every team and you know everyone that was able to help me out this season uh, recording games so uh these next two are going to be the last two be on the lookout for them oaks christian versus saint bonaventure that's going to be a good one uh and fillmore versus santa paula the Ventura county classic the 112th game against these two 112 years that's insane and i'm gonna be there to cover both so you know i told myself if i'm gonna do two more episodes of this series at least until next season i better go out with a bang thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like you subscribe you share with friends and family follow me on instagram right here follow brown at instagram right here and until then i will see you in the next video and remember brown is beautiful later guys